Yeah, my training philosophy has definitely changed in the last five to seven years, you know, that I've been doing mountain running. Before, when I first got into the sport, it was all just about mileage, like racking up as many miles as possible. Like 200 miles a week was kind of my, if I could hit that, then I was good, you know? <laughs> and, and if I could do that for four or five weeks in a row, I was ready to race 100 miles, which is just, I think about that now and it's silly. Kind of the biggest shift has been um, in the last year, year and a half, really. I broke my leg last summer, 2011. And coming back from that, I, uh, I started doing a lot of hiking um, just because it's less impact than running on the broken leg. That totally shifted my perspective on running in the mountains, I guess, or just uh, you know moving fast in the mountains. And uh, as a result over the past year, I've really gotten into a lot more tracking more just uh, time on feet and vertical and going after really steep terrain and uh, just racking up as much vertical feet as possible and tagging as many summits as possible. That's kind of been the focus of my training for the past year. And it's funny because right now, you know, summer of 2012, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. And, you know, I'm PRing on all kinds of hill climbs and stuff by big chunks and I'm really excited to race again. It's definitely become much less about, oh, I need to be able to run every step of a climb or something. And just like, well, I'm going to get to the top the fastest way possible. And if that means taking a more direct line and, and hiking up, you know, a 45 degree slope or scrambling like some fourth class ridge or something, then that's what I'm going to do. And, and it's, it's become more about not limiting yourself to the, the man-made trail that switchbacks up the side of the mountain. Instead, looking at what the mountain offers you in terms of aesthetic lines to ascend it and descend it and, and following those, uh, regardless of what the map or some trail planner has decided is the best way to go up and down the mountain. For me, trail running, a big part of it is just integrating myself in a natural environment and uh, feeling that connection with, with the place and um, and just sort of like the overall sense of well-being and peace that that brings, which starts sounding pretty like new agey and, and spiritual, but I mean, that's, that's the way it is for me. And that's by far the overriding uh, motivating factor for me in it. I mean, racing, there's definitely motivation there because I have an ego, and that, but that's what the main reason I race, that and to, uh, uh, the communal aspect of it. You know, I spend a lot of time running alone in the mountains and, and racing is a time to uh, connect with this larger community of like-minded people, which is rewarding in its own way. Um, but yeah, for me, it's, it's the mountains are the, the reason I do it. I've always just tried to be authentic and, and be true to my passions. And luckily for me, like it's, it's resonated with enough people to where it's worked out it's something I can pursue full time. And, um, and that's really, you know, that's satisfying, especially when, you know, you run into lots of people and, and, you know, they tell you that, you know, they've been inspired to like do their first ultra or something or get into trail running or mountain running as a result of, of what you're doing. And that's really nice because I spend a lot of time in the mountains by myself doing what feels like a really selfish, I don't know, indulgent activity <laughs> because it's a lot of fun and uh so it's nice to like see that you have an impact on other people but uh yeah through all of that i just try to not get uh too influenced by anything that doesn't feel right or true to myself you know and um hopefully i can remain that way i don't know